Learning how to convert between units of measurement is one of the most useful and most basic concepts of math when working in a pharmacy. In this video, I will give five different problems that will help you practice. There will be another video with five more practice problems that you can look at, and I will have the link listed below. Make sure to click subscribe below so you can get the most practice and explanation to help you pass the pharmacy technician exam. The problem reads, how many 280 milliliters can be filled from 2.5 liters of cough elixir? It is important to know your conversions. There is a link below for that video that talks about the conversions. The first thing that we want to do for every question is to find out what they are asking for. So for this question, they're asking for how many times is 280 milliliters going to go in the 250 liters of cough elixir? A lot of these problems, it's going to be the same. You're going to have a fraction equals a fraction. On the right side, we're going to have our knowns, and this is where the conversions become very handy. And then on the right side, there's going to be our unknowns. Well, we're dealing with the liters and milliliters. So what's the, kind, what's the correlation that we have when dealing with liters and milliliters? How many milliliters go into a liter? Well, with our known conversions, we know that one liter holds 1,000 milliliters. On the right side with our unknowns, there's always going to be one known. So if we have one liter and 1,000 milliliters, they're giving us the 2.5 liters. So with the 2.5 liters, that's going to be our known, our unknown. And for here, we'll put X and L because we want to know how many milliliters come in the 2.5 liters. Something that's really important to always remember to do is label your units. We always want to have our units. And that, if you can see, milliliters are both on the bottom, liters are both on the top. We always want the units to be on the same side, whether it's going to be the top on both sides or the bottom on both sides. Now what we'll go ahead and do is we're going to cross multiply and divide. So we're going to cross multiply the 1000 milliliters times the 2.5 liters divided by the one liter, and that's going to give us x equals 2,500 milliliters. We know that 2.5 liters has 2,500 milliliters in it, and because we're dealing with milliliters, that's good. So we're dealing with the same units. One dose is 280 milliliters, and we want to know how many times we can get a dose from 2,500 milliliters. So see, now that the X is going on the top, and see that the units are both on the same side still. Again, we're going to cross multiply and divide, and when we cross multiply, 1 times the 2,500, divide it by the 280, that's going to give us X equals 8.9 doses, or 8.9 times. And so how many 280 milliliters can be filled from 2.5 liters of cough syrup? Well, the answer is going to be 8.9 doses. And that's that problem. So the next problem that we see is how many milligrams of medication would be needed to prepare 250 or sorry 2500 capsules containing 250 micrograms each so we're going to do it the same way we're going to set up the two fractions and set them equal to each other and what's our known remember the left side is our known our right side is our unknown so our known one milligram has a thousand micrograms and what we want to know is how many milligrams does it take to get 250 micrograms. If we set it up like this, we cross multiply 1 times the 250 divided by the 1000, and that gives us x equals 0.25 milligrams. We need to know how many milligrams do we need to fill 2500 capsules. One capsule equals 0.25 milligrams, and we want to know how many milligrams do 2,500 capsules hold. 
So there's our x. When we cross multiply, oops, when we cross multiply and divide, 0.25 times the 2500 divided by the 1, that gives us x equals 625. And I'm sorry, I broke one of my rules. Is that we're supposed to label. Always label. That's going to be very important. So how many milligrams of medication would be needed to prepare 2,500 capsules containing 250 micrograms each? The answer is going to be 625 milligrams. The third problem is going to be how many grams, or sorry, how many grains can be prepared from 500 milligrams? So what's the question asking for? What are they wanting? Well, they want to know how many grains, right? So our final answer needs to be grains. So if we set it up again, we know that one grain has 60 milligrams. And we want to know how many grains are in 500 milligrams. Well, it's just like we've been doing before. Cross multiply and divide. And when we cross multiply and divide, x equals 8.33 grains. So what this is saying is, okay, if we have 500 milligrams, that is also the same as 8.33 grains. The next problem is going to take a little longer because it's going to take a little more steps. So the question says, how many 15 milligram capsules of a medication can be prepared from 0 0.0016 kilograms of medication? So the first fraction that we're going to set up is we're going to want to get the kilograms to the milligrams. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, our, for our known, we know that one kilogram equals how many grams? One kilogram equals a thousand grams. And then our unknown is given, so we have 0 0.0016 kilograms, and we want to know how many grams that is. Well, when we cross multiply and divide, x gives us 1.6 grams. But that's not it. So now we need to take the grams and convert it to milligrams. So we're dealing with the same units. So what is going to be our known? We're going to set up the fraction equal to each other again. Our known is that one gram has how many milligrams? One gram has a thousand milligrams. And we want to know how many milligrams are in 1.6 grams. And that's our unknown. And so when we cross multiply and divide, that's going to give us 1600 milligrams. Just to kind of recap on everything, so in 15, or sorry, in 0 0.0016 kilograms, there is 1600 milligrams. All right, and this is going to be the final step. And so we're going to set it up. Fraction equals fraction again. Our knowns and our unknowns. And the first note is actually given to us in the problem. So they want to know they have, if one capsule equals 15 milligrams, then how many capsules are in 1600 milligrams? So when we cross multiply and divide, X is going to equal 106.7 capsules. And so that is going to be how many capsules we can fill with 0 0.0016 kilograms. And that's going to be our final answer for that question. Now the final question, it's not as hard as that last question. There's two parts to it though. The question says, you are asked to create three gallons of alcohol. How many ounces will, be, will there be and how many milliliters? When we set it up, we have the equal or the fraction equals fraction. It's going to be our known and our unknown. And what's the question asking for? It's asking how many ounces will there be? So what's going to be our first unknown? How many ounces will there be? Well, we're looking for ounces, but we're given gallons. So we're going to have to convert gallons to ounces. Well, one gallon equals 128 ounces. So how many ounces are in three gallons? Well, when we cross multiply and divide, that'll give us x equals 384 ounces. So that's going to be the f one of the first problem. 
Now for the second problem, how many milliliters? Well, if we have the ounces, we know that one ounce equals 30 mils, 30 mLs, and we want to know how many milliliters are in 384 ounces. So when we cross multiply and divide, cross multiply and divide, that's going to give us x equals 11,520 milliliters. And that is how we would solve for that problem. So for the part one and part two, those are your answers. So those are the five problems that I wanted to go over. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe.